I don't know why I do it, but I always bring a wimmy, don't I? Every time I go away, I bring the bloody wife. Do you know what I mean? Are you all right, pet? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, here I am. I told you I might be at the river, or well, I'm close to it. I might be on the beaches, but actually, I'm on the pier. And we're on Galston Pier, the dead pier for fish, because there's no bloody fish here, so it's a good job I've already blanked. And we've got Brett down there. Brett's Fishing Diaries, go check him out. So I've come here on his uh, <coughs> Lines and Calm Minds video. So uh, yeah, thought I'd give him some support. People are turning up all the time, because like I've just turned up and another chap's turned up. I forget what his name was, but I'm terrible with names. So yeah, so we're fishing, it might rain today. It don't look like it's going to, we just had a few spits and that's it. So cut for the intro. That's not bad in a minute, but is it? So we're fishing today and we're doing, yes, because it's my choice, because it's my opinion on this channel. I've got some different rods today and uh, I shall show you them in a minute, but we're going old school and uh, probably back to the 60s, early 70s. So yeah, so um, I'll get set up and uh, well, I'm not afraid, I might as well film it, I? because I don't know how long this video is going to be, so I need to get the footage in. I'll put it here, sweetheart. It's a little bit windy, isn't it? You what? No. Nah. Right. Can you hold that for me? And be careful with it because that's my mum's, what my mum bought me. So I should let me beat you with it. Yeah. But, because you held my rod on Norfolk, when we fished Norfolk North Beach, didn't you? Dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a different type of rod. That one's a little bit more floppy. That one's a bit more floppy, so I don't want you to get confused with the stiff rod you had on floppy. Norfolk Beach. Floppy rod isn't that good to know. No, but as you get older, it tends to get more floppy. Yeah. I've found, but still good. catch a fish on that. Good wiggle and it stiffens. Yeah, just got to wiggle it a bit and yeah. it goes hard. Yeah. Stiff, slow. We'll still get this rod stinky today with seawater and fish. Yeah. And perhaps you can help me with the flaps on me flapper rig because you haven't you haven't touched any fish yet, have you? No, I tend not to. No? I don't come to work. So this is the rod and as you can see, but this is my mum's old rod, this. Look, I put a new sticker. I got that sticker made, um, put that on. I'll show you more about this closer to the camera when I traverse up it. How about that for a word about traverse? What you had for breakfast? Dictionary. Well, I don't think uh, people want to know what I've had for breakfast. Yet. What? Didn't say anything. And look at this for a cracker. I would say this is the reel my mum bought me, but I can't find it. It's in a loft somewhere, but it's not in the loft where I've looked up to now. But this is the exact, I believe, this is a number four, and I think mine was a number four as well. So I bought this for a spare, so I had two, yeah, but I can't find the honest, other one. You can't. Check all of I thought rods. you was going to say to be fair. 
you know. I've been quite through my loft and I've moved most of the stuff. It's still full of rubbish, so you know. You could just throw it all down and get rid of it and uh, then you might find it. We don't say to be fair. So I have, can't remember if I ever fished at the end of the pier when I used to live here because I always used to fish down there where the shelters were because um, we used to because the shelters gave you a bit of shelter didn't they because hence the word shelter they're not there anymore no they're not they've been pulled down too much dog and pet I reckon nice. yeah filthy bastards Let's hope this don't snap when I cast it. Don't. Let's hope it don't snap when I cast it. I never had one snap yet though. Well, I haven't. I had that Viper rod snap, didn't it? The wind's picking up, isn't it? Mine is blowing the right way, isn't it? just take you over here because the Brett ski reckon it's heavy he real it in then or what he getting it in today can you see him flapping about well it's a it's a monkfish mate I'm sorry about the wind noise, but um, the wife had sprouts last night. <laughs> He's got a bloody... You only caught an hound. You got an hound. Need to pull it up with the line, mate. Brett, do you want me to hold your rod? I have plenty of slack. You're going to have to put some slack out and just pull it up with the line. Put my drop there. Pull it up. Knock some slack out and I'll hold your rod. That's it. A bit more. That's it. You go for it. Keep it away from the wall. Go on, get it over. Get it over, because they wiggle about like mad, mate. So get it back. Hit the, hooked in the corner of the mouth as well, mate. Well done. <laughs> well done, Brett. Oh, shit, that's big. Right, I'll put your rod there. Where's your camera? Right there, look. Is it on? Yeah. Is it filming? Yeah. Is it action all the way? I think so. So you got your sock on, mate. Is that one you used last night? Yeah. Oh, bite up and you have a rod. Yeah, good luck, mate. 
I don't know if this reel's going to work. This is the first time I used this reel after tarting it up. Um, anything could happen, but one thing won't happen is it will cast out. Just checking everything's tight. I'm chuffed with that. So that was the rod that my mum bought me when I was probably 11, 12. And uh, we bought it off Bells Road in like a bric-a-brac junk shop, but they weren't called that back then. People used to bring the stuff in, he'd buy it off for a quid or whatever and sell it for three or four quid or two quid. And that's where we got it from. And it is an East Anglian rod company, Qualtac. This is nine foot, I think. Casts up to eight ounce. And I did it up. Um, get some light on the job. I did it up and uh, just whipped it on. That's the exact same color as what the rod had when I got it. And I've just cast it out here. I've just cast it out and it's whipped it round, it's going into this harbour. So I don't know that I'll be fishing there for long, I'll probably go and fish next to Brett because he's catching a fish. <laughs> now nah, it'll be alright, I'm going to cast the next one out that way. So I might have to cast over there and then it might avoid getting sucked into this great big hole called Goulson River. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's literally down here. I cast it out and was quite chuffed over there. I have got a 20 pound line on. This is the reel. That's the exact same reel as what my mum bought me on the exact same rod that my mum did buy me. So um, I bought this as a spare so I could um, use two reels the same on this rod, which I've got four of these East Anglian rods and the one that I was going to bring that my mum bought as well which is 11 foot no uh, yeah I think that's 11 foot um, I haven't done it up yet I've, I've just got to give it a splash and dash so I bought this one off eBay for like 25 quid I think and this one is in green it is absolutely mint I don't think it's ever been used and that is, it, they're all Qualtech. This one's a green bass, a green cast, sorry, and it's 12 and a half foot. So it's East Anglian Rod Company Qualtech, um, 12 and a half foot green cast. And uh, yeah, this is how I bought it. No need for me to tart this one up. Forgot all about it. But it saved the thing because I was wanting to come here and fish with Brett on his. Um, on his uh, Calm Minds thing and uh, I found that rod in the pile I'd forgot I'd bought it so and this one the mother's one you can't make it out but this is a cast king as well so that one's a green cast and that one's a cast king and I've got no look at that down it's right over there I'm against the wall I'm gonna have to pull it in I can't fish that I can't fish that. I'm gonna have to pull that in. Bugger. I bet you're gonna have to move. Right, I've got to climb over here. I can't believe that it's pulled right. Well, I'll climb over there. The wife's holding my rod. It's the floppy one. Put my phone on my box. Oh, yeah. 
Petra! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Why didn't he just use your ball? It's not good when you got a bad hit, mate! camera over there so I can cast this out. I didn't think I was going to make that. No, nor did I. I was ready to push you in. Where do you want it? Just turn it that way to point over there. Like that? Yeah, just a bit more this way. That'll do. Try and get it further over there. bow out. Right, can you come and hold the... You're going to have to turn the camera back down. If I fall over, it's good. Come on, you can jump back. They're watching me, look. Yeah, I'm not surprised they're thinking about that bloody idiot. He's got a box there he can use. Oh. Fuck it now. Brett, come here, mate, and hold me with you so I can get over. <laughs> Jump times. Nah, it's too heavy, mate. I just said to him, I didn't I need new it. it. Back off, you old fuck. Thanks, mate. Just now go, I'll put you on fish. Nah, it just dragged me to the fish. cast out there. Yeah, and then I was down there with water, river mouth, so I don't know how long I can fish here. But I've let a load of slack out, mate. So there's a bow in it. Yeah, we'll drink to my mum's rod, mate. That brown one. What brown tea? In it. East Anglian, mate. And the real, look at the red pill. That's what my mum bought me. She didn't buy me that one. I've got the other one up in the loft somewhere. I can't find it. But oh. I bought a double when it came up on eBay. Nine quid. See you later. Yeah, he's been up and down, up and down. Fish are here then. It's a catch of bloody hands. I can't believe that, Ben. Moving around, yes, weren't you? Was that first Lots. cast? Child was first cast. Out. Yeah, first cast. I didn't even set the other rod up. Hey, mate. I swear on this one. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe it. But you're only allowed to say things in your opinion. Yeah. Yes. And I can't say to be fair. No. 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 Can't say that. <laughs> no. She hates it. Everybody says it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to cast school there and cast a thing. I might even move my gear down there and cast that way. So, uh, yeah. so, why don't you fish that side? What do you say? You do this side. It's where the arms are. Yeah, I might do, I might do mate. <laughs> I've just got to try it out if I've never fished at the end in all the years the I lived there. Going that way, so I always fish down there, there where Kev there. fishes because them, them huts used to be but there. But he never catches down that end. No, no. My mate did, he caught a cod there. Did he? Yeah, in the 80s. Oh, right. Yo, last week it was then. that big. Yeah. <laughs> it was that big, this cod. I come back with the chips and I was like, I don't believe it. And there he was, eight foot rod, and he'd caught this, yeah. And um, his mum filleted it. She got six fillets out of it, that was it, and they were this size. Really? <laughs> God knows how much fish got wasted. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, then people down there turned up with your group then. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, you know what? I knew, well, I knew sort of Neil was coming, and I thought I was going to be it. And when I turned up, there wasn't any Neil here. And two boys told me this morning they weren't coming. Yeah, I know, I read it on the WhatsApp, I'm still linked in on it, wasn't it? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, we were sleeping on uh, 
next to North Beach last night. Oh. I was hoping to, because I was reading your comments and I thought I've got good Tesco's yet. I was hoping to pass you on the street and undo the wind and say, oh yeah, wanker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd have gone, what? <laughs> yeah, hold it. <laughs> but nah. Well, it's great coming back to Norfolk and you got three old men at the end of the pier with a total opinion and say, we'll lose some weight then. Well, yeah. I don't need to lose weight to get over a railing. I just need new whip. I can't believe I, I just leapt over that fence. Yeah. Well, Sam went over like a... I filmed it mate, if ever you do anything like that, you need to film it because if you fall over, what a comedy goal that is isn't it? But I went over that rail mate, don't listen to her, don't listen to the wife mate, I went over that rail like an SAS trooper. A dead one. Yeah, that, that's, a mix, that's a mix between an English soldier and a yank. But yeah, I went over there like an SAS soldier. Unbelievable, mate. I'll believe tell you. That, you'll believe anything. <laughs> you can actually just throw your, throw your hook in there. Yeah, you've got your own little, <laughs> little lake little going on. Lake. I know, it's always, it's always like that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame anyone if it didn't come. Not with the way the weather out said. Well, it's meant to be raining now, isn't I it? I know. Ain't gonna. There's too much wind. Um, too much wind, isn't it? Couple of seconds for it to sink in. Of course, sort of last thing I was expecting. So, uh, yeah, good. Got this up. Was that your first catch now for me? Well, another personal best. Second time with Vern, I caught a hound. I don't think I'm, I, well, I don't know anyone who's caught a hound off here. There you go. There you go, title. Yeah. New world record. Hound dog. New world record. Hounds <laughs> off. Hounds are in off Gulls and Bear. You'll start a right off. You'll come down there and start laughing. And then you won't be able to get space, will you? So perhaps that's it, mate. You need to come to the end of this pair and fish a bit more rather than... I'll have to get a little plaque made up and stick it to that fence. Red spot. Do not fish here. I don't know whose rope that is tied down there. That's Neil's, he's got his pot down there. Oh, for crabs. Okay. oh right. I was talking to Dwayne last night. I um because he's he's always got a bag of peelers with him. Right. So I I asked him yesterday like where I'd get old and stuff, just for the freezer. But he said they're, they're rocking horse at the minute, you can't get them. No, there's not many about. I saw some at the bait thing online baits, and I was going to buy them. I never got round to ordering them because I was doing that house. Well, last time I spoke to him, I went online and was that solvent bait or something? Solar bait. Solar bait. Yeah. They're all out of stock. Everywhere I looked online last night said that stock was being around. I said that to the chap who I buy bait off and he said, no, you've got to come here and get them. I said, so I can't pay you and you just keep me in there. He said, no, I've got to dish them out because otherwise some of his other people who he gets crabbing there in them, he loses the custom, doesn't he? Well, we can't stand here yapping all day. I've got fish to catch. I love these rods. 
didn't bite on that one. No, we didn't, no. did he? No, I ain't gonna. No. <laughs> right. Plus, you don't want me all over your video with fish in the hand all the time, do you? Well. <laughs> You've got to have a fish on his video sometime, haven't you? You're fishing my video. Well, that's both rods out now, and we've got on this one, the old people might recognise it. We've got the in the KP Moritz Intrepid Sir Supercast, Surecast, sorry, Surecast. I've done this reel up. As you can see, it looks quite fantastic. It's got good features on it as well for the time. Look at this, it's a little clip that knocks a knocks the handle over look, and it comes round and clicks in how about that you don't think of nothing like this and this bale arm for packing you can fold the bale arm right down so it's down here at the at the side with this clip here um, need these drag set though because you never know might catch an hound. So I'm gonna cast out here and I think I'll be able to stay here. I did want to cast out there, but this water must be coming around there and into this harbour air, into the river mouth, and uh, it's just sucking everything else in with it. So every cast is going out there over my shoulder, over that way, but it's all good. Bloody it, Bert's. It was a bit of a struggle getting over that railing, even though I made it look simple and easy. Wife didn't help, did she? She was just there giggling. Why aren't you down? Yeah. She's just giggling at me. It's, uh, it's not good when they do that, is it? But yeah, so bait today. So you understand now about the rods, don't you, Don? about stiff and floppy rods, yeah? Good. I can't believe it, I'm actually fishing. I've been wanting to do this for like three years has it been? Well, virtually since I started fishing, so it's even longer. But then I did a couple of rods up and I thought I can do them. So I thought, right, I'm gonna do my mum's rod. And I did it and it's been in the bag for a year, over a year, easily over a year, maybe even longer. And um, I wanted to come and fish it, and I was gonna fish on the bend of the river, because that's where I used to fish a lot, or down where the shelters used to be, before the council decided in the wisdom to knock them down. But that was probably through dogging, wasn't it, Pet? Well, it, what else would they knock them down for? I mean, they were just a shelter that sheltered you from the rain. So anyhow, we used to fish down there and we used to sort of like make camp in one of them shelters because there was like four or five, I think. And they were big, huge shelters with a long wooden bench. And we used to all come down and fish. And um, I did another nighter in there when I was young or till late into the night. And uh, my mum was apparently in the car park in the car, keeping an eye on me because she was worried. <laughs> but that's a good mum for you, isn't it? So anyhow, I'm here, I've never fished off this pier, I'm at Galston on the pier fishing with my mum's rod and that means a lot to me. Um, the rod, I rubbed it down, bonder sealed it, got the sticker made and all the rings on that rod I just cleaned up. I cleaned them all up, the hard chrome, apart from the tip eye, that had the pink porcelain in it and I've still got the eye but it's got two hairline cracks in it. So 
I want, might one day just put some super glue in and see if I can do anything with it. I've sanded it down and took all the hardness off the edge, so it's now just a thin crack. So I might do that because part of my mum's rod, isn't it, that she bought me. And the other rod, yeah, I f totally forgot I had that. It's absolutely fantastic. There's no reason for me not to fish with them more often. And that's good for me because I get bored easy, don't I, Pet? Apart from with you, don't I? I can never get I can never get enough of you, can I? So anyhow. I feel so lucky. Do you? Yeah. So yeah, so um I get fed up. So I uh use my Kenzaki rods all the time really. And then when I've had I want to change, just get a different rod out and fish it. Don't hurt, does it? And a change is as good as a rest, isn't it? So there's a little tiny bit of weed out there. I haven't got my bait bag which is now becoming a pain because I'm so used to baiting up next to my rod stood up but I'll just put my cushion down on the floor and kneel on the floor um, no rain as of yet but we've got a brolly I've got a coat we have got another brolly in the car but we I ain't brought no water down you can go back to the water can it's only down there isn't it why not just pretend you're a pack horse or a, a donk, pack donk, pack, pack pony. One of them uh, coal mine ones. And you can go down there and load yourself up and come back, can't you? Is that all right? Have I said some, what have I said now? Have I said something wrong? Breathing is wrong. Breathing. It's nice here, isn't it? It's not cold, is it? You look cold. Let us know if you get cold. You can go back to the bank, can't you? Well, yeah, you can get them out in the back of the van, can't you? We've got my orange juice, haven't we? Yeah, there's a cherry Coke in there. We've got them cans of pop as well. Yeah. Splashed out and bought six, seven, six, six, eight. eight cans of pop, seven up cherry. How about that, eh? Pushed the boot out, haven't we, Dal? And we've paid for parking in the car park. And instead of paying six pounds, we paid four pounds, didn't we, Dal? Paid four pounds, so if we're here longer than one o'clock, which will be, um, you're right, which will be, we just got to go pack and pay another two pounds. How long's two pounds for? That's an hour, isn't it? Yeah, so that'll take us to two, so we'll probably have to pay another four pounds, that's eight pounds. But we're as the wife said, she said, Shall we have a bit of luxury this weekend and park on the car park so we ain't got a trek all the way along the sea so promenade? The hotel, Bill. Yeah, we're saving a hotel, Bill. Just blow it all on the park, and then I got it. And Brett says they had to pay for park and the parkings with the hotel. And they said if you're fishing, don't worry about it. So I'll just worry from one o'clock because that's what I am. I'm just a worrier. I'm like, did I lock the door? Did I lock the van? You know, and uh, I'll worry, which will ruin my fishing session. But we won't have to pay, will we? That never used to be here, did it? That great big lump. Do you think that's sand from where they excavated it out of the harbour? Are you coming up with all these big words? Hey, ain't I? Hey, it's because I go to school, down I learn from teachers that are intelligent. Okay. Got to go get some water in a minute. You can tell I'm at Galston because I've got squid in a Chinese wrapper. I think what they do is, what they don't sell when it comes near the end of date, the, the Chinese go in there, buy this squid up, and then that's what you get in your squid rings, it's Chinese, isn't it? Well, it's already done in the box, isn't it? Got some prawns, raw prawns, and I've got some worm. You can get tablets for that nowadays. Yeah, you can get tablets for worms, can you? It won't, it'll be under the water, won't it? No, it's been gone in. What it'll do is it'll it'll chase the fish onto my hooks. Anyhow, that's us fishing on Galston Pair. It's not over yet. This has been run 26 minutes and a half. What do you want to say, Pet? Do you want to say to your people, click and subscribe, you do the click and subscribe. Yeah, click and subscribe. Can you project your voice a little bit? Is life too much for you? Yeah. yeah. Just tell them to subscribe before subscribe. I put you across my knee. Spank you. 
Click and subscribe. Click and subscribe. Yeah. Click and subscribe. Bit, bit loud. Not a parrot. Yeah, I know, but I don't know if it can hear. Hang on then. I'll get it closer. It can hear me. Right, go on then. Click and subscribe. Click and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thumbs up. Oh yeah, don't forget thumbs up. Yeah, click the click the Someone's bell. Got to make out click, like click the bell for all notification. Come on. Click the bell. For all notification. For all notifications. And for you out there that have switched off already, you won't hear it anyhow, but thanks for the uh Yeah, thanks for thanks the for the view. She's alright, isn't she, eh? Right. Just look behind the box and on the floor. Someone's left a rig. Not only have they left the rig, they've cut it off a leader and just left it up here. So, you know, in my opinion, they've left it here. But they could have just cut it off, put it on the floor, couldn't they, Pet? And just forgot about it, couldn't they? So, so yeah, so if you're, uh, if you're ever about in a pair, me and the wife does it, we did it at Ruka Pair, that um, if there's... Um, if you're just going for a walk on a pair and you see fishing line and tackle, just pick it up and bin it. Because everyone makes mistakes, you know. We've got to make that allowance, haven't we? We can't just rant on that some doozy twat has just left the gear here. It might have been a mistake, mightn't it? And we've got to make an allowance. Look okay, now, Speedy Gonzalez on his go-kart there, look. Look at this, eh? So that's Neil over there. That's Speedy Gonzalez. So yeah. I might need one of them goo carts soon. Can you get a two seat one? What were you? Yeah. What, me at the front and you at the back? We'll go down to the pub. Oh, down, <laughs> down. Can I be at the back? Is, I do prefer being at the back. I'm not answering any right. of that. Yeah, I saw one yesterday, a black one, and they had a seat at the front. No, it weren't just it was when I was at Trunch Lane. I come out, and there was a seat at the front and seat at the back. It was it was like huge. It was like two and a half metres long. We could go to the pub on that. Oh, I couldn't down because if I was at the back and I kept seeing you wiggling about on the front seat, I'd be getting excited. I'd have to have two pints just to quell my thirst. Now, so yeah, pick up rigs. We've done it before, haven't we, down? Yeah when we went on route to pair, didn't we? Yeah. And we just, we amassed quite a lot of stuff because there's a lot of feather chuckers there they as well. They bins as well, didn't they? No, they weren't a bin, they weren't. No, they had bait bins, didn't they? Uh, line bins at the end. At the end? Yeah. yeah, but the pair's like two mile long, isn't it? Oh. But there weren't a single bin on the no, pair, was it? No, there weren't. So, route to pair, I think it's called route to pair, it's when I went and picked up that Ziplex. Um, it is bad that the council ain't got any bins on the pair. And is there any bins on this pair? So, uh, yeah, get some bins on the pair and then the rubbish won't be on. But if you see anything, pick it up. That's just my opinion. Now, well, well, he checked. I've been over there and over there and everywhere. I've been getting loads of little boys. Yeah. Well, after seeing that hound, I've put the bigger, I've put the bigger hooks on. I was gonna, I was gonna fish size six hooks. I thought I'll catch some. I could have a fish on there, don't know. There's gotta be something decent out there, isn't there? You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. How long have you been doing YouTube for? Uh, probably about four, four and a half, I think. I'd have to go back to my videos and see. But I started started in August is when I started. And I think the first video got put up in probably October summer. Do you, do you live around here still? No, nah, I live in Lincolnshire. Oh, you live in Lincolnshire? Oh, you've come a long way then. Yeah, oh, yeah. 150 miles. Bloody hell, yeah. He didn't know I was coming either. Yeah, that's a long way, yeah. Look at that, he looks after Wanda more than he looks after anything else, look. <laughs> He's covering her up, she's going to get wet. Don't let Wanda get wet, Brett. <laughs> Don't let Wanda get wet. <laughs> well, let her get wet then. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm 
I've been like Brett, I've only started sea fishing since I moved down here. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's alright, isn't it? Yeah. Just nice bit. It's the environment. It's well I've been a fisherman all my life. Alright. Oh, right. Always caught cool angling, you know. I used, right. to, I used to do match angling in London and all that, so yeah. But uh, I've moved up here and there's just so many places to fish up. That's why I've got I'd go. Uh, last time I went sea fishing before this. I was about seven years old, my dad on a boat. Oh, well, you want to go to Yarmouth North Beach and just fish? There's a wooden deck board going out onto yeah, the sand and me, go yeah. on that, and then you've only got a bit of the sand to walk across just after Britannia Pier. Um, and fish that because you'll get hounds off there. Oh, yeah. Well, get hounds off here now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I know there's waves being caught off here as well, uh, and some nice bass. Just over there, see all them wooden structures. They've been getting some really nice bass out of there. So much tide run through there, it's unbelievable. What they do, one of the guys who's like a regular, he comes here for the slack tide for about 45 minutes. Right. And he had 15 bass in 45 minutes. Up to about seven pounds. Yeah. Looks like I could just put the camera on and leave it for 45 minutes to go on. <laughs> Yeah, they, they all, all the, apparently all the boat fish are all in now, and all the bats are, right. you know, they've herded them all in that construction yard. Yeah. 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 There's some really good bats being caught there. Yeah. 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 It's renowned Norfolk for bass, isn't yeah. it? It's all I ever hear. I'm, I'm the biggest bass I've had, it's about that big. Yeah, it'll come. <laughs> it'll come, mate. Well, I will do, yeah, if you can save me a couple of bits. Started to spit now, so I might have to put my coat on. Might in a pet. You've got a brolly, haven't you? Yeah. Let's have one. That's nice. I like a bit of melon. I do, I do like a bit of melon. <clears throat> Seal's back. Seal's back. He's further out now, though. You'll say hello to the kids, though, for when you're dead. Well, do you know what I mean? Don't worry, kids. You'll see more of me than you will him because he'll die first. Look, this is an opportunity to say hello to the kids. You're dead. You're in a box. You're, you're, you're seeping through it. And the kids think on a Sunday morning, oh, I'll put Dad's video on because I'll see Mum. What are you? I didn't know you spat him out. I thought you swallowed. Was anyway, that a pip? Yeah. I can't see it. You can, sw you can eat them pips. I know. You eat melon pips. I can't see it. Can you eat melon pips? That's yeah. pumpkin, isn't it? Can you eat melon pips? Only my wife spits them out. No, I didn't. She's just gone down. It's black as well. It's a black pip. She can't Let see it. Find That'll it. turn up in the sleeping bag tonight, <laughs> won't it? Anyway, She'll go, whoa, girls. what's this? <laughs> anyway, girls. Yeah, so yeah, come don't, on, opportunity to say, come on, camera's on, don't, don't hang on, um, hang on, hang on, see if I'm in it. Oh, oh, Christ, they don't want to see you. Uh, yeah, mine might, might be in it, yeah, I'll be definitely be in it like that. Yeah, I'm in it there. Right, oh, no, I'm not in it now, am I? I've just kicked the bloody tripod. Right. Right, take two. What do you want to say to the girls? Anyway, um, for when you're dead in your box, leaking through it. If I do die before you die, yeah, she, she might do. Don't worry about going around and visiting him. Leave him as long as you can, and then when he's dead on the floor, you won't have to worry about just dragging him up to the top of the road and let the council take care of him. Oh, there you go then. So that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I did say though, a bit back, didn't I, Pep? That I don't want to be alive when she's not here. I want to be dead before Karen. Because I'll give her a couple of years off for a start. And two, if, if the wife dies before me, who's going to cook for me? I'm, I'm scuppered, aren't I? In a pet. Well, you can do uh, something. You can do cheese on toast or spaghetti. Yeah, I had that the other day. I know. I cleared up after you. Well, I was busy. <laughs> Don't think you realise how much I do have to do. Well, I ain't caught anything yet, have I? I'm trying no. to fish. I'm trying no, to fish for my subscribers to put a fish on the video. Got another bit, Bella. Yeah, I do. Yeah. How many pips are in that? Yeah, I want that bit. Give us a nice them. bit. You have that. 
That's got them in. All right, yeah. Well, thank you very much. That's the smallest bit in there. Can you just... Here. You just said give you a nice bit. So. There's the East Anglian rods. Me king cast and green cast. Apparently they used to uh, make the rods brown in the back in the day because you went from split cane rods, which were obviously brown. So they used to paint the rods or stain them, whatever they did, brown because that's what people wanted back then. And then obviously that green cast, they obviously were trying to change people's minds and doing something a bit different. So I, in my opinion, I assume that's what they did. But look, me, look at this, I've got someone coming. See this here, there's a lot of bicycle grip there. Who are you then, mate? I'm old Woodhouse here. What, Stephen? Yeah. Bloody hell, mate. How you doing? Not too bad, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You're from Norfolk then? Oh yeah, yeah, we come down here. So much does, you know Alfie, don't you want to try it, mate? You must know Alfie. What, with the brolly? He's always on here, isn't he, with a trade bike. Yeah, he's got a trade bike and a wicker basket in the front. Yeah, I think that's right, yeah. yeah. I spoke to him, last time we were down there, I spoke to a chap, I don't know him. Yeah. I spoke to him, he was fishing on the corner with his bike. Yeah. And a basket beside him, he had a green brolly. Yeah. Have you got an air? That's right, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah it. that's it. What's it, Alfie? That's Alfie. Oh, right. I've been fishing with him for Don for years. years. Yeah. Or? I don't know, I come to Yarmouth, back to the forest, back to the Where are you now? Norwich. Oh, are you? Yeah. I've been coming here since I was 15. Norwich I was James. here, I was here la last night. I was up there. Last right, night. well, we come down here, we pulled in that car park, and there was two fishing down there. Some were fishing up there on that yeah. corner. Yeah, I was at Hawks. Oh, down right, you weren't fishing on there then? No, down the slope. Yeah, down the slope. Yeah. To the right. I had every, every fish you could think of. Yeah? Yeah. Corn bags, smooth hounds, dogfish, wheaten, spares. So, and I lost a ledger. First time I lost a ledger here for Yonks. Yeah. Well, we were going to fish there when we were here last time, me and Brett, but there was two people fishing down yeah. there. There ain't a lot of rum there, is there? No. But yeah. Oh, you enjoyed it up there in Yarmouth and North Beach? Yeah. We're well, not on that section. <laughs> That's apparently the fastest I did tide run. I did message you. Yeah. It says, you are from North Beach, I thought everyone knew. I've never fished North Beach. Yeah. I've only, the furthest I've fished is Britannia Pier. Is it? Yeah, I fished up Britannia Pier as a boy. Yeah, you go further up. Yeah. That's a nine ounce lead and 40 yards, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but you if know, I had have gone 200 you know, yards right or left, I could yeah. have held bottom, I was told, for some old boys there. One of her. But yeah, that no, was a nice day we caught, anyhow. So yeah. He's had an hound already, that one. That bloody. Yeah. Yeah, I see, yeah. That would be on YouTube. <laughs> I've just brought the old fiberglass rods. Oh, yeah. They're East Anglian Rod Company. Yeah. I knew done two up. Yeah. My brother, I lost my brother a few months ago. And we used to fish together years ago. Yeah. And his wife gave me the rods. So I, nice. I done them and whipped them up. So I just got to give them a try. Yeah. Well, that rod there is the rod my mum bought me, the brown one. Yeah. And I used to fish on this pair with it, so I've been, I've done it up, I've tarted it up because it, back in the day, used to just wrap some cotton around, put arrow dyke on it, so I've it. stripped yeah. all that off and done it properly to fish it. So yeah. Is your mate coming down then, Alfie? Then is he coming? I don't know, but he's normally here, and uh, we normally fish here. Starting, I don't fish on here till September. Right, and then I do September, October, November on here. Because I like getting all the white and making fish cakes. Right. <laughs> How'd you get rid of all the bones in then, then? Because they're full no, of them. No, no, you just put a, half a dozen in the pan. Yeah. Right. Boil them up. Yeah. And then you just get hold of the bone. All the meat fall off. Right. And is that the only bone? Because my mum used to pick the bones out. Because she used to boil them up for the cats. Yeah. You just lift that one out and you get all the bones. Don't you? Yeah. Chuck them away. Fix those ones up. What, in and it. there's no other bones in it? No. Oh, right. A bit like, uh, 
a bit like when you get them white fine hairy you can't really see them can yeah, you? yeah you're in the kipper yeah that's it yeah mouthful of kipper and a mouthful of bread that's it <laughs> oh yeah that the other one <laughs> well when i went mouthling then i took three disabled people yeah up to Weibo. right must have been there 300 man Good, isn't it? That, that was crazy. That's the worst. That's well, I could say that's the best. And that was well crazy you know, fishing, you know. And they were because they'd never, never mackerel fished enough, you know. And uh, they well enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, that's good to put the face through now. That's it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a bit worried though because most of my subscribers are old boys. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I got some lovely smooth mounds up there. Right? Yeah, up the arm of North Beach. I had four one day. I took because uh, I know these disabled people, and we went on there because but they well had fun. But I, I had seven fish, and they had, they had no, no, yeah. But they did in the end. They both got a smooth mound and oh, flat, right. so that was that. It's terrible when you keep catching fish yeah, no, and you it. take them somewhere you don't. Yeah. I had a chap beside me called John Spolton. Oh, you seen yeah, Gus? Yeah. Well, we were on the Trunch Lane in Lincolnshire yeah. and uh, I pulled out a flounder 31 centimetre and it's fat as anything. I've right chuffed. And then he, he was like, because he'd never been catching. And then he caught a flounder and then he pulled out literally in 10 minutes, quarter an hour, he pulled out a bass and two ounces beside me and then I was like chew <laughs> I was chewing my lip then <laughs> and I had Gus with me all the time I put yeah. the dog biscuits and treats in my box to save my squid yeah he ended up getting the squid as well <laughs> I come down the other day went for go go for that Savoy yeah you get it really cheap don't you yeah. don't know if you ever go there no no only worth about three pounds off the box all right and I buy a big case you know I come down the other day with the boys we went there some wheat and calf and then we'll the on the way home and pick them up. And Grimsby, there's a fish um, seller. Yeah. And people from the public go in and you can buy, you, unbelievable what fish you can buy. Yeah. Lobsters, big lobsters yeah. and everything. And I go in there and buy box, five kilo box of squid for 25 quid. Yeah. And I get 20, 22 or 23 packs out of that. Yeah. So I that's mean that, that, yeah. that works out a lot cheaper that than do. buying four quid for a Chinese pack, pack, tub, do you yeah, know what I mean? That's right. Or even a bag of squid that you buy, because yeah. it's four to five quid in it. Doesn't have all catch to that. Well you never know dear. You got a big snag out here, you know. Is it? Well I cast that here. Yeah. And it got whipped round within five minutes. I was fishing in there. Yeah, you will do. Yeah, so yeah. I've that now chucked out over there, and that's it. Yeah, and it's ended there. Yeah, so when, when when the tide run in, if you fish anywhere round here, put a lead out, that will go all the way round. Didn't there. used to. Never well, tied tied today then. Do you know? Uh, is it eleven? It'll be great yarmouth, wouldn't it? Yeah. But it's only because of that that's what we'll changed this tide. Yeah. Yeah, when they built that out there, this all changed. Yeah. I used, I used to be out fish here. Yeah, someone else has said that to you, haven't they? When yeah. we were down the other... When we it don't the help that they've tipped on two million tonne of sand on that beach since the 80s, is it? Do you know what? If I, they still do that, I don't know. But I fished up more right? The other yeah. year. That's about, I don't know, six years ago. And they came out with these barges right out there at yeah. Walcott with a massive pipe, yeah. pumping out the sand, putting it on the beach. And I went to him, I went, You're wasting your time. Yeah, mate. it's all gone now, isn't it? Yeah, I said, You're wasting your time. No, we've done this before everywhere. I said, You're wasting time. I've been fishing here for, since I was a boy. I said, One minute I can step off the concrete, and one, next time I said, I've got to go down the ladder. Yeah. I said, 
And what happened when we had the first rough weather? Yeah. That took half off. Oh, uh, yeah. Back home. Well, it knocked all the stones down at um, Salt House as well, didn't it? All the. That's it. The, yeah. All the great yeah, big took the stones. Yeah, and they wound it all of the car park. And now they end up putting it back up. Yeah. They used to push it all back up at Salt House. Yeah. But a few years back, they said, ain't doing it anymore. And all the old marsh people were getting all upset. Anything to save money, that's all it is. Yeah, it is, yeah. Be you ready. You're, this is filming, you know. That's is all it? right, isn't it? Yeah. Because you've got, a, you've got a face made for the camera, mate. Oh, that's good then. Oi! <laughs> I'll just say it, my mate Daniel. He always, he normally texts you and do all that. Does he? Yeah. He go up the Humber. I said, I'll, oh, come, right. up, I'll come up there fishing one day. Yeah. I said, I'll come fishing with you. Come up there. Well, on Thursday night we were fishing. Julia who fishes with John Spolton in this Norfolk in the club. In the club, I, yeah. yeah. He came all the way that night just to fish a little I bit. I know he did. Yeah. yeah. He caught an hound. Yeah. They all had hounds apart from me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my coast. <laughs> they were cast no further than me. Yeah. I've been doing that casting for a long while. Yeah. You know, we used to go to wool, wool cart every Saturday night. Me and the wife, we have a tea, and then I do like an hour and a half, two hours on the beach, just casting. But I've been trying to get a pair of them salt rods. Oh, have you? Yeah, match the uh, GTs. Yeah. I ordered them five months ago. Yeah. I rang them up ten times. I don't know whether ring up and say forget it. Yeah, mate. I'd ring up and say forget it. And if they got and in touch all with that's it. But that's that's my opinion only. <laughs> and that's the Angela. Andy Webb, why did they do the review? Yeah. Then you can't even get them. <laughs> you want a couple of Kenzakis, that's what you want. I'm Straight from here. Jerry. Have you? Yeah. Well, what, you don't need any other rod. What you got 14 or 13 foot? 13 now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, 13 yeah. yeah. Lovely roll, yeah. Different in the supercars. Yeah. I've got four supercars. Yeah, that's stiffer. Yeah, they are. Yeah, the yeah. Ken no, Ken's X is different. Oh, than yeah. Supercars. yeah, yeah. Hang I've on. got a. Hang on, how many I've got a Dora, got? I've got a Dora Sandstorm in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the original. Yeah, the old yellow one. Yeah, with the yellow yeah. at the bottom, that's all. There's him telling you you don't need any other rods. How many rods have you got? Yeah, but it's only for film. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, people need to see different stuff. Ten fabs. Yeah, brilliant reels on. Yeah, mag threes, mag fours. <laughs> I got four Abu Chrome rockets. Yeah, which I've been. I fish with them a lot. Yeah. They are really lovely. No good fun. for up on our coast then. Oh no, because it's too. That's right. You, I don't think you can beat that pen fathom. It is a winch, isn't oh, it? Oh, it? Just yeah, lovely, lovely rod reels oh. then. Yeah. So you got the Kenzatis then? Yeah. And you still want the Zolt rod? Yeah. Yeah. I thought I'd try that. Yeah. I bought a pair yesterday when I went to pick the worms up. Yeah. What'd you buy? For fishing on it, right? Because the other ones are. 25 years old, so yeah. I thought I'll have another pair of rods. That's from, the, say, that from, got the, pair that from the 60s and 70s. Yeah, we know they are. <laughs> they, they nearly always put them free handles, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, I've got some of them at home. But I have got rid of a lot of stuff. I sold six tillies. We got rid of six tillies. Sea streaks, can you remember them? <laughs> oh yeah, C Street. Yeah, I know. Sold them pen. Uh, the what are they squidders? Yeah, all them. I sold. I've got a uh, <laughs> intrepid surf yeah. cast there. I used to have one. And that Ryobi is a real. That isn't the exact one. That's up no. in the loft somewhere. But that's the real my mum bought me as well. So yeah. I just teamed him up on that rod. I know. Done one of them for my mate. Yeah. Yeah. Similar to that. What the black one? model. No, the left hand one. Oh, are you? Yeah, because he brought it and he'd been fishing for four years. Yeah. And because that's a disabled people, right? And I yeah. said, uh, give us your reel here. And I got it all surf store, put it all back together, and then we went up there. But he cut the bail arm off. 
Well, we all did what, back then, didn't did we? Then. Yeah, yeah. I had a um, Shimano Airlex 8000, and I cut the bail arm off it, and I had to buy another one to Do put the bail arm back, back on. Back <laughs> and since then, I've bought two more, so I've got three now, <laughs> and a 7000, so I've got four. Oh, so you're yeah, I, I do like them reels though. Yeah, that seems strange when you come over your old again. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, it, to be fair, that, that's cast out quite a yeah. I said it again, didn't I? To be fair. To be fair. <laughs> what I'm saying. Oh no, done. Uh, Scarborough reel. Yeah. Right. Well, I nearly. Br oh right, yeah, I haven't got a Scarborough reel. And the wooden one with the brass. I braced it all up, cleaned it all up. I turned the new shaft, new bearings in. Yeah. I did. And my mate Alfie said he I'd have a cane rod because he got a lot of cane rods. Oh, now is he, he? Yeah, someone passed away. Right. And he got a lot of cane rods. So he, he could more like give me a cane rod to go with the wooden one. Yeah. So I could come down here one day. And I've got an Alvi reel. Are you? Yeah, I've got an Alvi. I was going to bring it today, but I haven't. Okay, and I probably wouldn't even use that, but I was going to change the reels about. Um, yeah. They cast all right. Yeah. I've got a uh, Mitchell in there as well. See, the uh, Mitchell uh, 602, I think it is. Oh, yeah. Of course, you've seen a lot of these in the, in the car boots, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I used to fish with a member of the Mitchell Garcia Mitchell one, yeah. a bit wider. Yeah, I got that. At home. I've got, what, I've got. Yeah, for some reason I bought all of them. You had the black one. So they, they got the black one. No, no. Not you used it. Next. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I come home and he'll go. I've got a bargain today. I have That's to it. tell you, I've saved so much money. Have you? <laughs> Did you live round there then? Well, I lived up on 152 Bells Road, oh, above yeah. the shop. It's yeah. now a mortgage place or something, but there was a flat up there, and the stairs were probably about a meter and 1.7, nearly two meters what? wide. Yeah. And they went up about 14 stairs, and then there was a huge platform, and they went up another 14 stairs. And the ceilings, well, you was like that looking yeah. with a telescope at the ceilings. It was a cold, a cold house. Where but we you? lived above the shop. But I also lived at Bradwell, yeah, um, and that's it. So we moved at Bra to Bradwell, then we went to 152 Bells Road, and then we moved to Bradwell again. Oh. And then I moved yeah. to Lincolnshire. You like it up there? Yeah, it's almost was. That's yeah. where my kids are now. So are I mean, they? Yeah. I should come really down there, really. Don't all the years I keep coming down. Yeah. Three times a week. <laughs> Well, I used to fish down there where the shelters were. Oh, yeah. So written down for some reason. And I used to fish on the bend of the river. All the way along. That's it. Well, well when I started, kids. I was 15, on my bike, yeah. on the train, off the other end, send the postal order to the tackle shop. Yeah, right. Pick the bait up. Yeah, I'm all right. And fish on that yeah. one. Yeah. Bend there. Yeah. We used to get all them card in that muscle bed. Yeah. And then the fish yeah. swim down there. It was only just under the water. Yeah. And I ran all the way over this pier and it just swam straight out to sea. It was probably about like. And then the fish was huge. The head was massive. It was huge. And I only knew what it was because when you went to the chip shop and you got the fish pictures, and I always just looked at my fish and think, that's a beast. Yeah. And then I started fishing. Yeah. When I fished Hopton and I fished the Tanya Pier, yeah. and that was it as a boy. Because yeah. I was only school kid still. Yeah. So uh, this was my main haunt for summer holidays. I was in the old <laughs> swimming pool all the time. I used to get a five pound Morgan. season ticket and I was in that pool all summer. Oh, right. <laughs> I used to bring my boot out here with my brother down the slipway at yeah. Hopton and then put a long line out. 
and then go out there and fish and then come back. But I, was, I never could get away from fishing at the island beaches. Yeah, I love beach fishing. I do, but my hip doesn't. No, I knew she struggled quite a bit with that. Too. Well, every step's pain. Yeah. I went back when I left Karen in Tesco's this morning, I was going, pain, pain, yeah. pain. There's my own, you know, I could have got an appointment in, but I've got a couple of jobs coming up. Yeah. And I don't want to lose them, so I need to do it whether I'm in pain or not. I retired to fix. Yeah. But the wife has given me some instructions. Because I'm useless at taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, I drove all the way down here to see you boys. Yeah, you didn't know I was there though, did you? I didn't. Told, he said, I've told. That's a bonus, isn't it? Yeah, getting to see him. He said, I've told Brett we can't make it. He said, but we're going, aren't we? And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I finished work and we literally set off about half an hour later. Yeah. And uh, that was it. I don't think he's got anything on there, but we... Yeah. Yeah, that old toy's still running in. It puts you against the wall. Then you got to watch you don't get the right them steps, the metal steps. I can't believe how much Colston Beach has changed. That, that's, that never was that wide, was it? All well, that now, sand? No, it's, it's so getting wider. Thin it's thin, getting wider it? and wider, and up there you lost it. Yeah. Well, when we when I first moved away, um, I come down there and they were actually tipping sand on with lorry tips, and I don't yeah. know if they still do it. But they built that beach up huge with these lorries because they kept doing it, didn't they? So I used to have to come down and see Karen, see the missus like. Yeah. And now up there, you can't fish up top when you go up near the golf course. Yeah. As soon as the tide come in, that push you behind the groins, behind, behind the defence. Well, the kids always used to be jumping off into the into the sea often. That's right. The beach, jump onto, onto there and then into yeah. the sea. And you, that don't even touch the end of the beach now. But No, it's, uh, it's quite changed quite a lot really. But, and up there. But that's a nice day, you know. Yeah. That's what it's about, in it. It's just being in the environment, in it, and just That's having. What it is, yeah. I ain't bothered if I catch or not. It's not obviously when you're on a bit of a run of catching, you want to keep it going, don't yeah. you? But, I don't um, know how you got one card, you know. I reckon that's because you just turned up and they see your face. It's chiseled looks, mate, in it. That's good. <laughs> chiseled out of granite. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Uh, no, it was um, unbelievable. Hopefully, it'll be like it this year, but I think it might be a few more people there. So, um, yeah, wouldn't they? I'd just go during the week. Yeah. So that, um, that's quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I very rarely ever fish on a Saturday or Sunday anymore. No. I fish during the week. Yeah, I don't like it. Too busy. Yeah. And some of the beaches I go now in Yorkshire, it's they're deserted, and that's that's perfect for me. Yeah. And I went on a beach. The beaches that I've been on that have been busy, it's like screws your head up, and I'm yeah. like. When you say busy, you mean like ten people? Yeah, and it needs three or four people <laughs> on that beach, and I'm like. That's it. But busy. you come on a pair, you expect it, so yeah. I know what I'm coming in for. You know. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we got an hour. That's what I want today. That's it. You'd get if you had that beach. Yeah, I know, but. It, he won't fish on the beach anymore because he's awkward. <laughs> Stubborn as hell he is. <laughs> Not bad for a 1970s rod, is it? That's right. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I bought two last night when I went to get picked the bait up. Yeah. How many, 
I can't believe them rods. I mean, that one I bought off eBay, that great. I forgot I bought that. Yeah. And I was going to do me other king cast up, which is a foot longer than that. That's a 10 foot rod. It ain't nine foot, it's 10 foot. Yeah. And I got an 11 foot one, but I wouldn't have got it done in time to come here and fish. And I found that rod, I thought, well, bargain. So I wanted to fish them old yeah. school. I joined some group, which is vintage fishing as well. Yeah. But, um, they're over in Liverpool where I think, so I very much doubt if I'll ever fish with them. No. But... I used to make them with the Rodrish, you know. Well, did you ever know in Norwich Bolton? Oh, yeah, me, it hurts. It's a bugger. I've got to get it sorted soon. Yeah, but... Now, the thing with these reels is, Steve, yeah, is that you can't turn that off. <laughs> no, I only go with him when we go away. Yeah. If the weather is nice, I'll come with him. But if we go away and he says I'm on fishing and it's looking like it's going to rain, I go, oh, okay, you go, I'll see you later. <laughs> Have a nice time. <laughs> When we, when me and my mate fish, we normally fish together once a fortnight. Yeah. Now the saying is, that's heavy. Oh, he started saying that. <laughs> yeah. Is that a, it's heavy. <laughs> we have a laugh every time now. Well, shall I tell you why? No. I, I don't like, and it's just me being because of who I am. I don't like saying tight lines. Because oh, no. a lot of freshwater, that's a freshwater thing. Yeah. And uh, I don't like saying fish on because I feel like I'm Robson Green. Oh, you know, yeah. Robson. It, yeah. So, yeah, I've, I've started just saying, it's heavy. <laughs> so that's what me and my mate say <laughs> when we're fishing. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I can remember that that one. And people were stood behind you waiting to see this great big fish yeah. and then out came this yeah. huge lumber wing. Huge lumber wing, it's on my Vaselli rods as well. Yeah, Corton is like that, isn't it? If you fish up Corton, yeah. oh, I can't never get it back. I always lose my legs. Nothing out there. You know, every time you go to Corton, fish Corton. As soon as that, as soon as that ton of tide started running out, that's the end of your ledger. Yeah. That's all right. But if you want to cast just a little way out, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's been about all morning. Yeah. There'll be fish here, mate. Seal's getting them all. Big bait on. Might be just as well fishing in that side. It might be a bit less weedy. That's all right here, Dom. Not too bad. out there, there must be hounds, well there is hounds out there because yeah. Brett's had one. Normally a lot of the bass are sort of fairly close around the edges, isn't it? Al Alfie always, he's quite a good bass angler. Yeah? Yeah. He do catch a lot of bass and they're nearly always like around the edges. 
Because he walked round with his lure, do he? He walked round there like that. Lure. <laughs> I just chucked down there, it'll be in there. Yeah. What did, what time was I told? Half past twelve. Half past twelve. Well the last time we were here and you were talking to him, he says hang on and he turned his hearing aid on and he says I turn him off because it's a lot better. <laughs> 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 and he turned it on so he could hear. Does he watch me then or not? No. No. Because no. he didn't know me. No, I he... never say. I never say. I'm not as presumptuous as to say it. And uh, he said about his hearing aid, and I just chuckled. Yeah. And then we walked away, didn't we? Just as a family parked up. And he turned, <laughs> turned it off. Turned it off now. He must have known we weren't uh, gonna hassle him. Do you know what I mean? With. Yeah. While we're here, we need to try for a big fish, Don. You'd think they'd drill a hole in there, wouldn't you? You'd think they'd do summer, even if they it's put some more. It's always been like that, not it? Yeah, uh, been... all the wall, never yeah. any different. No. It's not, it's always been like it. Did you ever fish? Did you ever fish off there when you were young? No, no. My mum told me a story once. She says, "You see that, you know that beach that's over there?" She remember her first ever orange that she ever had as a child come off that beach because a shipment of whatever yeah. and all these boxes were on that beach broken and that was they were full of oranges ah. and that was her that was her first orange. I was fished up once, got told off. Yeah? Yeah. Who by what? For the ports people? Yeah. Because I had a light on me. Oh, right. What, your tilly lamp? Yeah. I've got three or four of them. Yeah. I've got one, I kept one, but I turned it into an ordinary electric light. Oh, right. I got him a workshop. Oh dear. It should be out past this one. Let's hope that don't whip round. Let's hope it don't whip round. No batteries there uh, going again. So you've been fishing, you fish on the North Beach a lot or just occasionally? Only occasionally. So what do you fish? Fish Hopton mostly, do you? I fish everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Hate fields, Keslin, everywhere, all the way up and down the school. You go right into Suffolk then? Yeah, right here. All they don't right. chase you out? No, all right. They're all silly though, aren't they? <laughs> Bloody hell. I was at um, yeah. fish fly one night and uh, a chap said to me in the morning and I was fishing at Salt House, he said fish to the right of it, there's a huge hole there full of bass. Yeah. He said that's where you want to fish, to the right of that wreck. Just past it, not yeah. far. Um, I couldn't walk any further so I fished to the left of it. <laughs> but there was this huge movement in the water and I thought that looks good, there's got to be something there. So yeah. I was casting out, didn't get nothing. I think if you go right up there now, there's so much like, there's so much food up there right now. Yeah. What's the chances of you get? Yeah. You know. There's not much chance there at the minute. <laughs> Perhaps give me a lesson again. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I watched one of his, 
I don't, can't remember how I got speaking to Brett. I remember speaking to Brett, but I can't remember how. But um, I think he messaged me or something. Yeah. And I messaged back, and it was on possibly YouTube. And then he messaged me one morning on Messenger. I accepted him. And uh, I got him into Brett. And I started watching him, and he had some fresh water videos up. And this first sea fish one where he caught a little tiny white down on shore. Yeah. And uh, see, I saw a bit, a bit of more northern coming out of me there, waiting down there on the corner. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he messaged me, and uh, Cameron's in bed, she had to lay in that day. But I was talking to Brett the whole time, because it then ended up we went to the same school. He, he's four years younger than me, I think. You know, you wouldn't believe it, because my chisel looks like yeah. but He is younger. And uh, we were talking all morning. Yeah. From then on, we've just been chit chatting, but it's yeah, it's a bit of a link, isn't there? Because yeah. it's the same school, same area, and he used to go in the tackle shop down the bottom of Bell's Road. That's it. Yeah. Um, on the left there, there was some wooden gates, and there was a big shed in there, and there was a chap with did bike up, bikes up in there. And he used to go to the same group. I used to go in there after school and just spend all evening in there, talk to him, and learn yeah. how to fix bikes. Yeah. And all them things put me on to where I am now, where yeah. I fix stuff and that. Yeah. So, a bit with my dad, a bit with other people like that. And you then get this, well, we talk for ages. Getting gusty, isn't it? I'll tell you, you know where the ferry was, down in the river? Remember the old ferry? I was thinking about fishing there. Because you could just pull off on the road, just there. There's a slipway there, yeah. an old slipway, but yeah. in, in use now, I don't think, because it's like a two foot drop at the end where the slipways fell in. Yeah, yeah on Riverside Road. Yeah. And I was uh, thinking, I've always wanted to fish there, but yeah, I never have. When I come past, I always come past there. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. you could just sneak off the side of the road there, and I'm sure they. I've seen two people fishing there, so I don't think I'd get chucked off. So I might, I might. There we go. Yeah, if not this weekend, it'll be the next time. Yeah. I think it'd be nice just to catch anything. I'd look forward to a white in now. Yeah. I ain't caught one of them since the end of October. There ain't been so many about no. normally in, you're getting quite a few boys. Because they normally come in, in September, yeah. really, don't they? But you, you do get quite a few boys, but this year you don't seem to get so many boys. I ain't hardly had, I had one last Normally you would get half a dozen little boys, you know, like me. It's the same as Say the biggest about six pounds, and then like four, four three and a half, and then you get your schooly bash. You know. Yeah, that, that was unbelievable. Two so jacket. That well, that's what I thought of Trunch Lane, but nothing happened. I caught this flounder in daylight, yeah. and then at night time, John was catching everything. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, you just jump over the wall and straight onto the beach. But you yeah. jump over the wall now, you'll be falling down onto the sand. Well, the concrete because it's all sand's all gone there. But that was full of flies. Wasn't yeah, it? it was terrible. Cool. Yeah, when they yeah. come in. Oh. oh, you you just can't. I went there spinning. I thought I'll just do a bit here and just have a go because I didn't do a lot off it. I said, "Do not wait here." And uh, yeah, I had about ten chucks. Got fed up with this spinning lot because I like just watching my rod do yeah. nothing. And uh, got back in the van. We went, didn't we? Probably in front of the eyes, oh, The screen, your car screen, just get covered, don't you? Yeah. 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 Is it like that all the time there then? Or was no, that no, it's only every now and then. We've got spiders on our beach now, on the cobwebs, floating down. Oh, yeah. I looked at my shelter on Thursday night and I must have had about 150 of them crawling all over my shelter and I was like, yeah. You're gonna get squashed when this gets put away, boys. <laughs> so I was there banging it. Yeah. I think I shall have to break out. I've got some worms. I shall have to break out some uh, Yeah. Well, you don't want to be taking it back up. Not really. Yeah. I don't. There's that seal again. But we did 10 years of charity riding on a bike. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I biked everywhere. What, in Norfolk or yeah. out of Norfolk? All down. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I used to bike, bike everywhere for, and, and up to... Uh, you know, I think you're cyclist, don't you? What's that? I know you do. <laughs> I but still... You can't, I, they aren't all the same, you know? It's no, just, I'm all right. Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just that little clique of them, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's right. No, you're all right, mate. <laughs> Got a good bike as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, all I do now is I pedal around the city, around Norwich. Do you? Yeah. Isn't that a bit dangerous? Nah, I don't think nothing of it. Have they still got pony and tracks in Norwich? Then? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you need to blow over it all. It's nearly there, nearly gone. White clouds are coming. You need to catch a fish. Well, it's nothing to do with the rods, it's... Uh, has to do with what's out there. It's to do with what's out there, isn't it? Definitely. Get the shot frame. It's certainly not heavy. use them tomorrow. I might just do an hour down there or you know an hour or summer you know. I'll probably just tag it into this video. Oh yeah, yeah. Till I mate. Luke was in his car and I was walking to the Dawson Tackle yeah. and he uh, he spotted me and was like oh. <laughs> I wanted to get here and surprise Brett. Yeah. And uh, which I did because he saw me. He didn't even recognise me. Tapped him on his shoulder, said some expletives. And he looked at me, and you could see it, and then two seconds later, it was like, well, you're down there. <laughs> Go on, get this juice over my coat. 
I've just got to get some, the only problem with it, they don't put flies in the bottoms. Oh, no. And you think, you pay all that money, because they're like 160 quid for the yeah. bottoms of the coat, 160 quid. And uh, you think they put a zip in the bottoms. No. But I can't grumble. Lovely bloody, uh, it is lovely gear. When you've got the bottoms on, it's really warm yeah. together as a whole suit. Now let's get this car out. We've got worm on this. We've got a three hook flapper, about size four hooks, maybe. Might be. They aren't six. They're fours. So uh, get this chucked out. That'll do for today. I think my light's dead on my camera. But yeah, we've got a fruit flapper out there now. Got a six ounce weight on it. And uh, it's on my mother's fiberglass rod that I got brought down. So rods are going well, reels are perfectly all right. They're antiquated. This reel here, this surf cast, it's like a bloody tractor. It's what it's like reeling that in, but they're all working, casting well. And uh, a bit of rain on that, but nothing has off yet. So the only person that's caught is Neil, who's had a dab and Brett, who's had a hound, and I've had nothing. But I've met Stephen here. We've had a good old model, mate, haven't we? Yeah, we have. And uh, I've got to take it more easy and be more laid back. <laughs> and I might get another six months pet, mightn't I? <laughs> but she's saying, just be as, mad, as, as mo moody as you can be, and then I won't be here for so long. So I shall watch these rod tips and have a bit more of a chat, and I'll... Uh, not listen to the wife and I'll uh, bring you back in a bit. Well, met some lovely people today. Um, I suppose you could class Brett as one of them as well. Only joking, but um, no, it's been, it's been great. It's been some nice people. I met Stephen Woodhouse. It was great having a marvel with you, mate. And, uh, we were talking for ages. Um, met some great people and terrible with names, I forget. But um, yeah, it's fantastic. Neil's still fishing. He ain't caught anything else since his dam. But yeah, it's been good. It's now raining. But I'm not letting that dampen the situation. Um, we are now all out on flapper rigs. I've downsized the hooks as well. When I first come here and Brett caught that hound, I baited up for hounds. Where there's one, there's normally more, but not today. I think it was just a fish that got lost. It's probably even in the wrong county. But yeah, it is good. And uh, it's great to meet people. It's what this is all about. This is, um, Brett's tight lines and calm minds um, get together. Um, it is for people to meet up. This battery is dead. I did use it the other night actually. Never charged it. But it is what it is. So yeah, this is Brett's tight lines, calm minds. People just come, fish with him. It's once a month at the minute. And uh, but the weather has put quite a few people off, which you can understand having to travel and then fit, stand out in the rain and fish. It's not good. But if I didn't come this weekend, next month, I'll be in the Lake District and then September, could do September, but it could be raining and uh, it could, you know, might be cold, mightn't it? So it was today and I've just had to put up with the rain. But I've got spare clues in the van we are living in the van as well. Um, good night's sleep last night. We come down yesterday on Friday. Today is Saturday. It is Saturday the 22nd of July. High tide was at half past 12. 
So high tide has been and gone because the time is now 12.57. Wife has nipped back to the van. She's getting some drink. Her book will be getting wet. I better put her book in my bag. She's still reading this book because apparently it's got a good twist in it. I don't know how she knows that. I think she means the author always puts a twist in the book. Um, but she's not read it to get to the twist yet. Yeah, but it's good today. We're out with the missus again, fishing, having a bit of a laugh. And uh, yeah, like I say, met quite a few people and had a good chin wag. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Green one, I think. Was it the green one? Yeah, it came from the side. You put it in the Did side. Did I change a rod over and put a flat rig on? You put worm on, I don't know what that. But you did the brown one, then you did the green one. So has the brown one got a big bait on? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Right. You put worm on. Tangle there, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Get this chain up. At least there's no can't much weed down. Bang again. a day off mate. I catch too much up my way you see. in size but they won't be yeah 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 no. my fucking cock is bigger <laughs> it's a big one Brett that's a keeper Chucked it there, dropped me out, haven't you? Yeah. Over catch it. You might catch a jet ski
Right. Well, we better check the next rod, don't we? I might chuck it somewhere different because the tide pull should have changed now because the tide is going out. Let's get a flap of rig on. I do like these rods though. It does make a change. Bag in my box. Got out of it. That's it. I'll just put my thumb on my worms and just probably kill 20. Right, we'll chuck this out. Might chuck it more over there. So I need to stand it's down there. Is, yeah, no, I need to stand in front of that and try and start. I need to get this weed off though. Weed all on my line. It would be nice to actually catch a fish. Don't get me wrong. I got hooked up on my spool a little bit then. But Yeah. Thought you was lightning then, weren't you? Right, well we've got size 6 hooks out there and size 4 hooks out there on a flapper. No flaps though, I ain't putting the flaps on every pet. Flaps are in the bag or the box. So um, yeah, we're just putting lugworm on now. Well anything, just a small dab will do. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, it's been a great day enjoyed it it's been nice weather actually to say that it's supposed to rain it has rained it hasn't been bad it's just been uh, caught out in the rain sort of stuff and put a coat on and as soon as it as soon as it who's that waving at me 
lot of gnome sat there. He just needs a fishing rod. Hey, Brett, you just need a fishing rod. You need a fishing rod sat there. Yeah? Little gnome for your garden. <laughs> but yeah, now it's been nice. So the rain has come and gone. It's, it's been all right. It's not cold. It's a little bit windy, but nothing major. It's calmed down a lot. Um, it's been around a bit. And the rain that has been and come and gone, it's been nothing. Nothing as what was it um, that was shown on the Met Office. Yeah. Right, when I cast that reel out then, because it's like that on the reel, can you see that? The line. I think what I need to do is get thicker line on. And it'll come off the spill probably a little bit better because it's getting caught under some of the bits. On that cast, and it's the first time it's done it, it's obviously got caught because I can hear it going ping, ping, ping. Or twang, twang, twang. You know, whatever you want, you know. It can be what you want on this channel. No problem. So, yeah, we've got... Just be nice to catch, wouldn't it? On me fiberglass rods. But, let's be honest, I haven't been fishing hard ever, pet. No. It's been more of a chinwag time, hasn't it? Yeah. So I've had quite a few people come up, having a chat. Stephen, we were chatting for we were chatting for over an hour, weren't we? I would have thought so. Did you bring any drink? Yeah, but you didn't bring any water. No. no. Rain never low stuff down. Yep. So we'll have a couple of casts with worms. I'll keep reeling them in a little bit more consistent now we're on the ebb of the tide I don't know what it's like here the water's really calm um, not calm clear never seen water so clear I can even see the bottom of a bucket but yeah I'll keep watching these um, I think it was Martin that didn't turn that on down. I think it was Martin that um, that came and spoke to me. I uh, double checked with uh, Brett, and uh, he couldn't remember. So I'm sorry if I've got your name wrong, mate. But um, you know who you are because you used to live in the Lake District in Kendall. So yeah, it was good chatting to you, mate. If it's Martin, I hope I've got that right. If I ain't, let me know. You all right? Let's get this rod reeled in. I think it's just the wind. annoying when you put a bait out there yeah and it don't stay on there do you know what I mean because it ain't then fishing is it it's been out there 
just literally cast the hand runner. We chat to that old boy. Yeah. And that's it, it's gone. wind has picked up, hasn't it? It might yeah. blow the water away. We'll cast that out here. Can you see me on the... Yes! This wind's picked up now, but the uh, rain is coming down as well, but it's only spitting. So there's a new weather front coming in. The wife, cold. she's cold. Going back to the van. So it's good night from me. It's good night from me. That ain't <laughs> it. <laughs> Not it. No. Bloody idiot. <laughs> so it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. But I ain't going. She's now off. So the wife is now going. And uh, because obviously the wind's picked up and uh, it's blowing around her niggers and she's feeling the cold, ain't you, Dom? Yes, dear. Right, so she's off. I don't mind the wind blowing around my niggers because there's, there's plenty in there to keep me warm. Isn't that right, Dom? That's right. Come on, build it up for people yeah, so they think loads. I'm like a monster. Yeah, there's loads. Yeah, you see. See, loads. So uh, she's off, and uh, you're gonna say it. See you anon. See you anon. So I've now cast it out. I'm gonna stay here for a couple more casts, possibly, and then uh, I'm going back as well. So it might be a shortish video. <laughs> I don't know, but it's been a bit of yapping and stuff on it. Really? I've really enjoyed these rods, but that's irrelevant. We'll talk about that in a bit. See you in a bit. This is what I find with blow lug. It's never on the hooks when you bring it back. I don't know whether that's crab or whether the worms come off, I don't know. So that's my mum's rod in. Um, I don't know where the sun is. Well, that's east. So it's gonna be over there, isn't it? So yeah, so that's my mum's rod in. I'm gonna put that away now. This rain's coming shortly. The time is now 20 past two. Rain is due at three o'clock and it's gonna rain all night until 11 o'clock in the morning. 
So I don't even think I'll get a session in in the morning because um, where I want to fish, it'll just be raining. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? So I'll get this put away and then what I'll do is I'll come back as we reel the last rod in and we'll say I'll see you later. So wife has gone back to the van. She, uh, the wind caught the brolly and nearly had her over and Brett had to help her. And all she had to do was turn into the wind and then she wouldn't have been fighting the brolly, but Brett helped her. It's all all right. She's gone back to the van. So uh, yeah, she's a bit cold now, but there's nothing there's no such thing as cold is there it's not being dressed correctly so there you go but yeah i'll get this rod put away and i'll bring you back when i reel the next one in well then mate oh mate tight lines and calm minds it's been that's twice i've said that now is it yeah see that's catching isn't it i know you know we hate that stuff i know <laughs> ain't catching mate i did say lines and calm minds the first time but there you go all good though. Yeah. Been a good day. Well, it has for me. Fifth hit the turn up, haven't they? Yeah. I've, yeah. Many as last time, I think. If not more. And they were all uh, different people. They didn't come last time, yeah. apart from Neil. Um, so, yeah, that's doing well. Just I'm keep at it, mate. And really it'll just it'll grow, won't it? And it's yeah. just a day out fishing and having a chin, <clears> mate, because everyone's had a chat, haven't they? Yeah, all made new friends, had a good laugh. And, uh, they all reckon they come on on the next one. Good. So, uh, I shall be. No. <laughs> but then today's been a surprise, mate. That, an absolute, su very pleasant surprise. Very pleasant surprise. Good job I didn't completely lie to you this morning about the conditions, wasn't it? Yeah. It went as bad as you made that. It was bloody windy. It was windy, wasn't it, Ben? It was windy. But it's, when no I it's about, about the same as it was this morning, wasn't it, Ben? It ain't too bad this wind, is it? No, it ain't too bad. The, the funny thing is, a fucking boot, yeah. As soon as you get off the off the pier, oh, yeah. the wind. No, no. I know what you mean. Hey, you walk past the house. You know where you fish? There's that purple house. It's got a parrot in there. The upstairs. parrot house. They call yeah. it the parrot house. Yeah, well, the parrot says I went to get bait this morning, and he was going hello, <laughs> and I went hello, and he went hello, and he did it again. So I kept saying hello, and he kept answering. Somebody was talking to me about yesterday about the local lad who's born around. Painted that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Just a bit of useful information. If you come to Gauls and go check the parrot out and stand outside like an idiot like me saying hello, <laughs> and it'll answer you. <laughs> but yeah. Now it's been good meeting up again, Brett, yeah, and awesome, it's been uh, it's been crap for me because yet again I've blanked on this pair. But we've got one last reel in to hopefully catch something. I've enjoyed using the rod so, so uh, that was the old main thing for me. They look lovely. Apart from eating you, obviously, mate. Obviously. But I wanted to use the rods. They do look nice. They do look nice. That's all right, you didn't got to put any effort into getting it out. It chucks it out far enough. Are they older than you? Yeah, they're 60s and 70s, I think. Are Definitely they? 70s. Could so, be late 60s. So about the same age through that. Yeah. So that's 55 years. So yeah, so I got. I've been today. I've been using rods that are as old as me, but the rods look better nick than me, don't they? It's like that ain't limp, isn't it? No, it's certainly stiffer than me. I'll tell you. <laughs> You'll be <both>. yeah. <laughs> look at that for a boat. <laughs> now, does anybody know what sort of boat that is? Because I think it's a red boat. Well, I'm all for red and white. Yeah, I think you might be right, mate. <laughs> right, so I'll see you in a bit when I reel this rod in. And uh, Brett's going on because it's going to rain yeah. from 3 o'clock to 11 o'clock in the morning. It's going to chuck it down. So. Me and Wanda are now going to do the epic journey home. That's right. Don't forget to say click and subscribe to Brett's Fishing Diaries. Brett's Fishing Diaries, yeah. Yeah, click. Come and see my video because I click actually and, catch fish on my one. Yeah, click and collect, I said. <laughs> click and subscribe. Click and subscribe. Click and collect. You can but, click, yeah. click and collect me if you want, if you're yeah. female. Yeah, if there's any young ladies out there or old, you yeah. ain't fussed here. No, well, a, a dentist would be nice. If you're a dentist, I wouldn't mind dating a dentist. Be even better, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to get one round here, apparently. Yeah, that's why we all got shit, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate. Take it easy.
Well, as usual, the uh, prawn is still on and I'm gonna buy them prawns again, I like them. And the worm has gone. I put two worms on that hook and the worms are gone. Now they've been eaten by crabs or they've just come off. I always struggle with blow lug and I always wonder and think to myself, am I actually fishing or not? So yeah, this has been Brett's tote lines and calm mine. So I come down to meet up with him and show a bit of support. It is bad weather now. It is raining. It's going to rain all night into the early hours of the morning. Um, I've just looked at the weather and it's changed again. So it might not be raining early in the morning. So I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to go home tonight or stay the night and see what's like in the morning and maybe fish a bit in the morning. But if it is, I'll just buy some more bait. Um, but yeah, I've had a great time. It's been nice company with the wife. It's been good company with Brett and his uh, supporters, chatting to them. Um, it's been fantastic using the uh, Qualtac fishing rods, the green cast and the king cast. And the king cast is the one that my mum bought me. I'm so pleased I did that up and it come off so well. And it's fished really nice. It's, they have great rods to fish with. Feel, feel nice and easy to cast. So this has been Gorson Pier. Next time you see me, it'll be on a beach. Or it could be in the river, couldn't it? But I need a bit more luck than I do on this pair because I keep blanking. Brett's now gonna, Brett's now off, look. I don't know if you'll see him, but he's now off down there in the distance and he's gonna get wet. Let me just wipe this screen. He's gonna get wet, so yeah, this is the end. And yeah, like I say, next time you see me, it will be on a beach or in the river and it'll be back home on the Lincolnshire coast or Yorkshire coast. So thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you've got this far. I doubt if you have, apart from my uh, long time subscribers. But if you have, thank you very much. Um, drop us a comment. Don't know I'm looking at that rod. I'm going to pack all this away. I'm going to get them. And uh, I'm going for an ice cream and some KFC. A big bucket of KFC. And then I'll go for another ice cream. So I'll see you anon. Oh, you spat him out. I thought you swallowed.